The dispute has been brewing for some time. Players say they've not been paid for up to five months. But the crisis goes deeper than a dispute over unpaid wages in a country where football is a passion that transcends politics and economics. They pressured us saying they'll deduct points or that they'll field youth teams, but we don't have any solid economic proposals, so we'll keep going until they deposit the money the players are asking for. Nothing's changed. The government no longer funds the broadcast of live football, paying $22 million to the clubs to end its involvement. I believe we'll solve part of the problem with this money, but if we don't play football, it'll be worse. But three prospective replacement broadcasters, Fox, ESPN and Media Pro, are still negotiating to fill that vital income-generating gap left by the government. Many are asking how it's come to this. Others are saying that it was inevitable, that Argentine football is rotten to the core and it was only a matter of time before the poison manifested itself in a bitter conflict between vested interests. And the losers in all this? As always, the fans. Those who run football and our politicians should realise that football is the national sport in Argentina. Football should be available to everyone. As a fan, I think it's perfect because we've got to show solidarity with the players, whatever division they play in. Football's world governing body FIFA is meanwhile threatening to suspend Argentina from international competition unless its national association AFA adopts their criteria for choosing a new boss. AFA has been without a permanent president since the death of long-serving strongman Julio Grondona in July 2014. Argentine people cannot um, afford to not, to not have football. They are not used to this situation. They need football. We need football. We are a football nation. The government knows this, but hasn't done anything to prevent this situation. The violence, corruption and poor management that have blighted the game for so long continue unabated. The only certainty in Argentina's uncertain football world is that no ball will be kicked in earnest this weekend, or until a complex situation is unravelled. Daniel Schweimler, Al Jazeera, Buenos Aires.